If you've been playing Minecraft for a while, you probably know that the community's created a vast array of mods and shaders that make your game more beautiful, interesting, and fun. But how do you install all of these? There's two ways. Either download and install the mod loaders yourself, then the mods, and fix any errors and issues you encounter, which can take a lot of time. Or you can simply download a special launcher that handles everything quickly and conveniently. Over the years, many such launchers have appeared for Minecraft. But which one should you choose? Are they safe? What are the drawbacks? In this video, I'll try to answer those questions and share my top 10 favorite launchers. First on my list is MultiMC. I've been familiar with this launcher for a long time and can highly recommend it. One big advantage of MultiMC is that it was created by one of the developers of the official Minecraft launcher, making it stable and secure. However, the most useful feature is the ability to easily install mods and mod packs from CurseForge, Modrinth, Technic, AT, and FTB, create your own mod packs, conveniently group them into folders, and quickly switch between them, even if they're installed on different versions of Minecraft. You can also modify packs by adding or removing mods. However, MultiMC has its drawbacks. The interface is a bit outdated and not very user friendly, and the launcher doesn't automatically update mods and mod packs, so you have to do it manually each time. Next up is Prism Launcher. Prism MC is a fork of MultiMC with more features. The main advantages are the ability to download and update mods directly within the launcher and more interface settings, making it more user friendly. It also allows you to transfer files and mod packs from MultiMC. CurseForge is the launcher from the largest mod catalog site for Minecraft and beyond. It's one of the best launchers on the market. With its modern and user-friendly design, it offers access to virtually all mods and shaders. There's over 100,000 available and very safe to use. Updating mods within the launcher is quite straightforward, which greatly simplifies their use. This is the launcher I'd recommend to anybody as I've been using it for about a year. However, there's a few downsides. It has ads in the launcher and a long Minecraft startup time. Next, let's talk about CurseForge's main competitor, Modrinth. This is probably the youngest launcher in the video, but certainly not the worst. It's worth noting that the project is rapidly developing and changing, so by the time you watch the video, the launcher might have evolved. Like CurseForge, it has a pleasant and user-friendly design. One feature I particularly liked is the categorization of mods. You can also transfer your mod packs from other launchers, making the switch to Modrinth very straightforward. The only downside is that it currently doesn't check for mod compatibility, which can sometimes cause the game to crash. ATL Launcher, one of the oldest launchers. It has the same set of features as Prism, but with a more pleasant design. However, this launcher has one unique feature, the ability to launch server mod packs, allowing you to play a modified Minecraft with friends on a server. FTB Launcher is a small program focused on downloading mods, maps, textures, and other game files. The launcher itself is very lightweight, but offers a vast catalog of files. Its main advantage is not just quick access to files, but their rapid download and automatic installation. You don't need to manually copy the necessary files. The launcher does all the work for you. The first release of the launcher was back in 2012. Since then, the developers have changed several times, but it remains one of the most popular launchers. It's established itself as a safe and stable option. As a bonus, you can download several unique mod packs that aren't available in other launchers. GD Launcher is a relatively new launcher, boasting the most minimalist interface among its competitors. The absence of ads and its user-friendly nature are its main advantages. Around two years ago, GD Launcher partnered with CurseForge. However, there's a few downsides to note. Mods can only be installed from CurseForge, the launcher is quite large, and the optimization isn't top notch. And despite these drawbacks, it's an excellent launcher for those who appreciate minimalism and simplicity. Technic Launcher is perfect for users who don't like to manually search for and install mods. Besides the basic functions like setting up the game client, changing your nickname, and other features, the launcher includes a tab where users can share their mod packs. It's an extensive catalog. You can find game versions for various mods, texture packs, and maps. You can also upload your own mod pack for others to review and leave feedback. The most popular mod packs form a ranking system, making it easy to find the best ones. And the last two on this list aren't really launchers in the traditional sense. They're PvP clients. I haven't played them myself, so I don't know much about them, but I'll try to cover the most popular ones. PvP clients are Minecraft launchers designed to optimize the game, increase FPS, and make changes to graphics in the interface to improve the experience in PvP fights. That's why they're called PvP clients. First on this list is the most well-known one, Badline Client. Badline's a free Minecraft launcher that helps players by adding features like FPS boost, anti-cheat, and much, much more. This is achieved by disabling various effects and FPS mods. Another interesting feature is the cosmetic store, where you can buy capes, wings, and other cool items that all Badline client users can see. The only downside of Badline is that you can't install your own mods through the launcher. Lunar Client is the main competitor of Badline. It offers 
fewer mods compared to Bad Lion, but has equally good optimization. It's frequently updated, with new features constantly being added. In my opinion, the best feature of Lunar Client is Hosted Worlds. This allows you to run your own server through the client, which is a huge advantage for anyone who wants to play with friends without the hassle of setting up a server on their computer or paying for hosting. So in this video, I tried to select the best and safest launchers as of 2024, and I believe that this info will remain relevant for the next few years. I hope you found it useful. In my upcoming videos, I'll be discussing various interesting shaders and mods, so make sure you subscribe to see them. Bye bye!